everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach Kennedy, home marketing specialist and realtor in Birmingham, Alabama. And we have a new number one best neighborhood in Birmingham. I look forward to showing it to you in this video. Let's check it out. Forest Park boasts lovely homes, charming shops, and views of Red Mountain. Beautiful neoclassical houses with stately columns, Tudor Revival estates, and contemporary craftsman houses sit amid hillside residential areas, the perfect retreat from the city's noise. Children in Forest Park attend Avondale Elementary School, accredited by the Southern Association of Schools and Colleges. At Avondale Park, locals can watch ducks swim cheerfully in the pond, explore the rose garden, walk along scenic paths, and more. The park has an outdoor amphitheater perfect for live entertainment. Triangle Park is a small park with a three-tiered playground, shady picnic areas, and open grassy space. Some of the best views in Birmingham come from the Altamont Ridge, an overlook perched 400 feet above Jones Valley. Patrons of shop can find potted plants, coffee table books, scented candles, and more. Next door is General, where locals can enjoy espresso drinks and pastries and buy general store items. Locals can browse vintage clothes at MK Quinlan, and then head to the Rougarou for authentic New Orleans cuisine. The arts are alive and well at Elysian Gardens, where you can catch live music shows surrounded by whimsical metal sculptures. Saturn is another space with live performances. Locals love their vintage video game nights. There's something for everybody in Forest Park with charming homes, scenic parks, and incredible entertainment options. And that was a great promo video courtesy of homes.com of Forest Park. And it has now been ranked, according to niche.com, as the number one best neighborhood to live in Birmingham, Alabama. And so I thought that this was a really good follow-up for the last video that we did on Crestwood North and South. Given their locations are right beside each other, they're very similar in style, um, very similar in um, the types of people that are living there. There are some key differences that we'll look at here. Uh, and I wanna start by showing you the location of Forest Park on the map. And I'm gonna be using Apple Maps um, this time rather than Google Maps. What you're gonna see on Apple Maps is that the area of Forest Park uh, is a little less densely canopied with trees. I might shoot over to Google Earth or Google Maps just to show you how dense and how lush the tree coverage is in Forest Park. Um, but what we can see just from uh, a quick glance is Forest Park is located here just southeast um, of downtown Birmingham. Very similar um, location to Crestwood that we looked at uh, in the last video and it's very similar in style but um, what you're going to see the key differences really are um, that Crestwood homes are a bit smaller than Forest Park homes. Forest Park has many historic homes. Uh, it's an early 1900s development and the homes are bigger. Uh, there's a bit there's similar layout in that the the, the streets are built into the uh, Red Mountain here and so uh, Forest Park and Crestwood have a similar um, layout in terms of how homes are built into uh, built into the environment and it's kind of that tiered sort of system, uh, kind of tiered neighborhoods. I can kind of, you can see in Crestwood, uh, north is relatively flat. Uh, it starts to gain some elevation towards Crest Crestwood Boulevard, but Crestwood North kind of hikes up in that tiered way. Forest Park is gonna be very similar to that. So it's important to know um, that you know, the, 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 you're not gonna get a ton of flat lots, uh, at least not until it kind of levels out closer into Avondale. So the key differences to keep in mind when we're looking in Forest Park is that unlike Crestwood, Forest Park um, does have a lot of sidewalks. And this is one of the things that people enjoy the most about living in Forest Park, is that it's much more walkable than a Crestwood. 
Um, there are lots of people, I live in this area, and so um, whenever, when I'm walking around and I try to every day, walking or running, there are always people out here walking and running too. And that's because there are um, an abundance of sidewalks that make it far easier um, to kind of navigate through the hills. So much more walkable than something like Crestwood. Let's take a look at uh, homes.com and see that what homes.com is pulling is that we've got an average value of 518,000. I think that might be a little little on the lower side, um, but we're looking at about 256 average price per square foot. I usually find that kind of on the lower ends, like the 400, 500, those houses are really kind of selling in the two to 300 range. And then higher up, you're looking at 300 to 400. Um, we've got nine homes for sale in Forest Park. Uh, I'll include a link to this page um, in the description of the video so that you can go and read it. Um, but what's, let's just get some high notes. Uh, it was named to the National Register of Historic Places in 1980. Remains a walkable, welcoming hometown with nostalgic charm. Um, let's see, we've got some people talking about the history. Uh, it's very close to UAB. And there are lots of people that work at UAB. Uh, that live in Forest Park. Also, um, it, you know, that most of downtown uh, full-time workers live kind of in this Highland Park, Forest Park, Redmont, all, and then over the over Red Mountain into Mountain Brook. That's where the a majority of uh, full-time staff, CEO types work, uh, actually live. So we've got some neighborhoods, um, or we got some, there's the schools, We've got parks in this area, Rushton Park. This is kind of more Highland Park uh, area, but very easy to get to. William, so it's got Rushton Park, Rhodes Park, Avondale, of course, uh, and then Claremont Park, Triangle Park. I'll show you that here in a second. We're about a 10 minute drive from the airport, so super quick to get to the airport. Um, we've got some uh, stats here on crime and safety, also the demographics, and a little bit more about the style of homes that are in the area. Uh, upcoming open houses. You see the dis distribution of home values relative to the average of the Birmingham metro area. So this is gonna be uh, higher average sales than, than a lot of the areas in, in Birmingham city. Of course, we got recent sales, property mix, mostly homes. Uh, there's not as many, there's really not many apartments in Forest Park. It's once you start kind of get into Highland Park area, that's where you start to see much more commercial um, and much more uh, like multifamily apartments. Got some neighborhoods nearby. So let me pull you in just a little bit more and give you some give you some more highlights and then we'll look at some houses. So again, we've got downtown Birmingham, okay? And we covered Crestwood, so we got a good idea of that. And now we're looking at Forest Park, which is really, uh, this is Highland Park Golf Course. I'll always use that as a landmark when we're talking about these areas. It's Alabama's oldest public golf course. It's, a, it's kind of a short course and it's a tight, narrow course, um, but there's some decent elevation here. This is kind of the, the western border of Forest Park. And then all of this um, is Forest Park up until about right here where you'll see um, this would be the uh, elementary school. So let me, it's Altamont. So right through here is the border and then it's all of this that you see with green. And I'll just, for fun, I'll go ahead and show you um, what it looks like on Google Maps, just so you can get an idea of just how dense the tree cover is. So. If I use Google Maps, what you'll see is that it's very difficult to see up close to any of the homes here. Um, and that's one of my favorite things about Forest Park is that there's tree coverage um, pretty much top to bottom. Um, it's a very, very beautiful place uh, to live. And um, especially you know in the spring, summer, and early fall, that's typically when the tree coverage is at its peak. Uh, once, once things start to kind of turn over in October, November, the trees start to get yellow and you get these reds and ambers. Like it's a really, really beautiful place to drive. So let's go ahead and I'll show you some homes that are for sale at Forest Park just so you can get an idea 
of uh, what's on offer here. So let's go to one that's coming soon. Um, this one is actually going to be a, a potential flip. Um, so this home did have some water damage. It was built in, let's see, 1925. This one had some water damage and it looks like they've taken out all the sheetrock in this home. And, uh, but you're still left with a beautiful brick home that you can make your own, of course. Uh, but what you could see is that it's not totally, um, it's not totally gutted, but somebody could come in here at 529,000 uh, and really make this home something special. But it does appear there was some water damage. I'm not sure what happened there. But you can see there's, there's a lot of room here to make this really something. So if you're, if you're interested, give me a call. <laughs> I'll hook you up with a contractor. You might have something really amazing on your hands. Uh, we've got some 530 here. Let me get in just a little bit closer so you can understand that. We've got one, uh, there's, so it's, yeah, it's not just single family homes. There are some condos and townhomes as well. Let's uh, hit this one on Glenwood at 1 million. Listed by Steve. This one is a 1921 build, five bedrooms. Very estate style, get what I mean? Yeah, so there's a lot of classic touches on this one. Fireplaces are gonna be pretty common in a lot of the living areas. Nice chandeliers, good natural light. wallpaper there's another fireplace in the bedroom yeah so these are your these are gonna be your charming homes right and there's actually a um, a back building as well that you could have for guests or potentially I don't know if they allow Airbnbs uh, I think it's probably they would allow Airbnbs and this one is actually right by Triangle Park. So that one is just down the street. Let's look at a couple more. Um, five bedroom, three bath at 624. This one was a 62 build. And this one's gonna be, I mean, this one is not quite the, the style that you that you really come to Forest Park for, but you, you get the location of being you know, less than five minutes downtown Birmingham, all kinds of shops and restaurants um, in, uh, in, in uh, Forest Park Village that we can check out. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a couple more. got a few all right we've got one that went contingent almost immediately that Mimi uh, Mimi listed just recently this one is right across the street um, from the end of hole 11 on Highland Park golf course and this one went under contract super fast and I think you can see why um, it's got that beautiful stone columns the nice pergola on the front porch this is a very front porch living uh, type of area and you say hey to your neighbors as they walk by. Um, yeah, it's it, it, there lots of homes that kind of open up into this this living area with a fireplace, and you walk to through to the dining room, and then all the way back on that on that uh, living area side to the kitchen, and then bedrooms. Most of the bedrooms are going to be on on one side for these kind of cottages. This one's got a nice updated kitchen. and updated bathrooms as well. And a nice back porch. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So some of these are gonna have garages. Uh, some of these are gonna have just kind of pull up uh, in, in kind of an alley. So you're gonna see some alley parking as well. And, and um, not like, you're gonna get some street parking too. Uh, it, it's nothing overwhelming. The streets are a little bit wider than they are in some parts of Crestwood, 
but um, keep that in mind that you may have a garage or it may be like a back house, um, like, a, like a detached garage. You may have some alley parking that where you just kind of pull up behind the house. Cool. Look at a couple more photos just to kind of give you an idea. So, yep, I mean, it's it's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. Again, I love the tree canopy, those the, the, the coverage that it gets um, across the area. It's not wide open. It keeps it nice and cool when you're walking and running as much as you can in Alabama. Again, the sidewalks are um, sidewalks are a huge feature that kind of distinguishes this area from like your, your Crestwood North and South. Many, many historic homes on, on the historic registers, like wrought iron fences. People take really good care of their landscaping, large homes, and also some that are, you know, in the 400,000, 500. That's stunning. Yep, lots of um, lots of little shops and restaurants, places to grab a beer, grab a drink, grab some food. Uh, in Avondale, uh, we kind of hit on that with Crestwood. Avondale um, is is just on that kind of industrial side uh, on the north side of Forest Park. So yeah, Saturn, um, Avondale, you know, Rougarou is one of my favorite restaurants here in town. I live just down the street. Forest Park Village has got Rougarou. It's got uh, the general, um, it's got shop, which is a, a place to, it's a, a place you can get plants and you can get seeds and all that. Uh, you got red or white. That's see that shop plants, gifts, books, and candles in general is right here. Um, that's got all kinds of homewares, but it's also a cafe. Um, the Altamont school is a private school that a lot of these kids will go to. So again, just keep in mind public schools. So, and some, and some kids, uh, some families elect to send their kids to private school. And you're right by Avondale, Avondale Park. I was just there earlier this morning. And then you've got Triangle Park. This is inside General. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that is Forest Park, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, and thank you for exploring Birmingham's new number one neighborhood. Uh, it's always a blast to see kind of where these little areas rank and, and, and even new and emerging neighborhoods in some parts of the city. So um, as always, thank you so much for watching, considering liking, subscribing. If I can help you make the move to Birmingham, I'd love to show you some more areas. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you guys on the next one.